Thousands of dollars worth of equipment was stolen from a local radio station, and now police are trying to identify the person accused of committing the crime. Amy Wattis gives us a look at the surveillance video. It may look like just another day at the Whammo Studios, but this time a police investigation is happening behind the scenes. We had about $15,000 of uh, equipment stolen. The culprit, this guy in this surveillance video. Whammo General Manager Jamal Woodson says the burglary happened around 1 in the morning Monday. No one was in the office. Later that morning, Woodson says he woke up to a call from the operations manager. I answer the phone. What's wrong? And he just yells, We've been robbed, we've been robbed, we've been robbed. Several Mac computers and microphones were stolen from the recording studio. There's so many fingerprints and so many things around that are either going to get caught. Um, or they're going to have to turn everything over, or both. Woodson says he doesn't recognize the guy, but he thinks it's someone that's been to Whammo before and familiar with the layout. He's checking the bathroom to see if anyone's there, you know. And as he's walking forward, you can see um, his left arm is completely straight. You could tell the crowbar was in his left arm. While police say there was no forced entry at the main entrance to the building, Woodson says the burglar used the crowbar to pry open this door. He was like prying back here, prying back here. Fortunately, Whamma was still able to go on the air with pre recorded material, but it prevented the station from broadcasting live. So Woodson says they had to buy some equipment fast. He says this has never happened before, and he hopes Allegheny County Police can crack this case soon. I just feel completely violated, and I want my stuff back. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.